I like what I like and I know what I like, right? Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As you can see, we're back at it again with another Wine Fairy edition. This time it's a rosé. I was thinking about doing a Pinot Noir today, but I said, let's just ease into the fall. It's the last day of summer officially, and I wanted to wrap it up right with this. It is the Saintly Gold Sparkling Rosé VQA. It's an Ontario wine. And at the first time that I tried this, when my boy Chubba put me on it, I was like, I don't know about this. But after a few more sips, I was loving it, and I hope you love this one too. This wine is for those of you who like it dry. It is extra dry at seven grams. I think this is the most dry rosé we've tried so far on this channel, but it is so blessed, so good. I'm just gonna use the wine opener knife because I ain't got no nails anymore. Literally, got my nails done one time in my life and now I'm obsessed, I need to get them done again. But until then, we're gonna use a little bit of a knife cut to help with the situation to get this, ow! <laughs> I'm not the only one that has, ow, it broke. See what I'm saying? Hashtag ratchet over here. Okay, so seriously though. So we're just gonna take this off. Wait, before I do, just look at this. This is giving celebration. This is perfect for a birthday gift. It's only $18 looking like this. I mean, I think I'm gonna give this as part of a gift for one of my friends born this month. There are so many September babies. Every time August ends and September comes around, I know my pockets are gonna be light because there's so many September babies. What is that, Valentine's Day? Which one is it? Or is that November babies? Are we already in Libra season or are we still on Virgo vibes? You thought I was bad with the cork last week? Wait till you see what happens with this. Let's get it poppin'. Oh, oh my gosh, I can hear it. <gasps> Guys, I'm scared. I'm the actual, oh! the actual worst. Okay, now that the trauma is out of the way, let's pour some of this carbonated rosé. I wouldn't necessarily call it bubbly even though it looks like it, but it is, ew. Okay, this, this is not the vibe I'm looking for. Such a struggle. There we go. You see those bubbles? Amazon. Even from over here, I can smell the bright notes of grapefruit, watermelon, and probably berries. Yep, this is strawberry. Much like the last rosé, the rosé d'Anjou that I reviewed for you, everything about this is very delicate and faint. If I remember right, when I first sipped this, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it because it wasn't giving enough. Because of the carbonation, like I mentioned with the Matus, sometimes it... Uh, how should I say, it overtakes the notes of the wine. But let's see. You know what this is giving? It's basically like a Prosecco Rosé. It has a very similar light carbonation, not as much as the Matus, just enough to give you a little fizz that you feel like you are celebrating. You can taste the berries in this way more than you could with the last two. It is so good, it's so refreshing. If you're more of a sweeter rosé like I am, first sip, first whiff, you're gonna be off of this, just like this is a no for me. But as you drink it, uh, it feels like sophistication in a bottle. I mean, when you look at it, you kinda, it's giving the vibe, right? So, 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 so good. I can't really put my finger on it when it comes to this wine. It's not only aesthetically pleasing, perfect, as I said, for part of a gift. It's giving what needed to be gave. It's also just has that perfect balance of carbonation, citrusy. It's not as grapefruity as any other rosé I've ever tried before, which I actually like because sometimes it's a little bit too much and I'm not really getting anything else with it. It has the subtlest amount of berry notes, and it is giving the juiciness of a watermelon. It doesn't taste like it, the same way that it's very, very pale compared to the last two I did, 
everything about this is just very faint and very barely there. I like wines that as I sip, I have to think like, what does this remind me of? And it reminds me of, like I said, the last time I had it, which was the second barbecue that I went on this summer. I don't know about you guys, but summer 2021 wasn't what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be way better than what it was considering how open things were here but mm, story for another day. Let me know down below if your city was good this summer, if you prefer summer 2020 or 2019 pre-Coco. Mm. <laughs> it's not really too much of anything. It's really reminding me of a Prosecco with a little bit more of a fruity note and just more depth to it. So if you're someone who likes Proseccos, I feel like everyone loves Prosecco because it's just like a standard thing that you have, New Year's, birthdays, celebrations, whatever. You can't go wrong. This is very, very similar to a Prosecco with a rosé twist. When I smell it, I'm getting floral, but I can't put my finger on what floral note it is. Everything is barely there with this. When I first had this, it was the same day that I filmed the Rosé d'Anjou for you. And at first I'm like, uh-uh, nothing compares to Rosé d'Anjou or Matus. Those are my one and two. Lola is a top three if you ever want to check that out. But then when I sip this, I'm like, it's a no for me. But the bottle's here, so why not? And the more I sipped it as the evening went on, it didn't pair well with what we had. So I would not recommend this for a barbecue. But it is just so amazing to have and sip on a day like this where you're just maybe reflecting on the summer season that's gone by trying to hold on with all that you have or is that just me because i am not looking forward to the fall i'm not a fall girl i'm all about the spring and summer over here but anyway before i get on a tangent what i'm trying to say is this is a whole mood this is something that i might even cheat during the winter time and have i don't really do winter rosés i just feel like it doesn't match i could do a white wine all year round i prefer reds in the winter i just feel like it gives me too much of a warm feel to have in the summer when it's already hot a rosé for me is just so quintessentially summer that i try not to take it out of the season too far even into the spring or to the fall but to wrap up summer 2021 with you guys enjoying this wine and lipstick on the <laughs> rim this is a really good way to just soak it all in as the sunlight is coming into my apartment and probably messing up the lighting but that's okay i'm i'm just happy and it makes me feel it's so weird and maybe i'm already lit leash over here but this makes me feel grateful for the good and the bad there's a lot of moments this year that i'm sure you've had that have been amazing and far from what you thought it would be at this point in your life but sometimes when you just sit with yourself and maybe have a glass of wine amongst good company or even with yourself at the end of the day, something like this just to make you feel more special than you would if you just went about your day, you know? Not saying that you have to have wine every night, but sometimes if you want to do a little self-care to unwind and just treat yourself, you can be mad at this. And as I said, the price point is really good considering how delicious it is. Why am I such a lightweight? This is a problem. How am I supposed to do a wine series of every time I do this? Gone. She gone. But yeah. No one ever describes rosés as having pineapple, but the aftertaste to me is the same as a tangy pineapple. Mm, so good. I love pineapples. Do you like pineapples on pizza? I know there's like a huge debate in the world about pineapples belonging on pizza or not, but if you don't like pineapples on pizza, at least once in your life, try a grilled pineapple after a meal. It is the most amazing experience of life. I'm a huge sweet tooth. I love my fruits too, and that is the best pairing of the two. It is so good to have grilled pineapple. I feel like I'm so random with this video. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm in a talking kind of mood. I'm just happy that I'm done work for the day. And I'm able to spend some time with you and share a love of wine with you. So anyway, I should probably wrap it up here. I'm just trying to think of any other things I'd want to share. Extra dry and carbonated, you're going to feel like it gives you a flush of... <laughs> I feel like any word that I choose is going to sound wrong, but it's going to just give you a subtle flush in your mouth, which makes it really good if you wanted to have this with something, like I said, that is not barbecued. But I think this would be really good with a salad or seafood. Or, of course, wines always, without a fail, go well with a charcuterie board. 
personally me i would probably just have this sipping and having a good conversation but if you wanted to pair it with a meal i would definitely say seafood hands down seafood or something that's vegetable forward or a very very light meat i would even have this as a wine to complement a dessert because it is so dry it won't feel like you're having sweet on top of sweet it's going to blend evenly and i think it would also heighten the sweetness because it's such a contrast so depending on what you have that may or may not be a good thing if you're having a fruit bowl this would be perfection if you're having a creme brulee i love me some creme brulee so i wouldn't mind it making it more decadent but for some people that contrast of the carbonation with something like a custard might be doing the most i'm here for this wine i'm so happy that i gave it a second try and i hope that you give it a try too especially if you live in canada not sure if this is available internationally but if you get your hands on it trust me chef's kiss okay so anyways i'm gonna wrap up the video here i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you want to see next i'm thinking about doing a riesling before i get into the red some more because we have a long winter ahead of us as I like to say, winter is coming, and when it comes here, it lasts forever. So we got a lot of reds to go through unless I start to toggle between reds and whites, which I might just do because there's only so many reds I need to show you. I mean, there's a lot of reds out there, but unless you want me making screw faces every single time I come in here, there's only certain reds I will do. So just letting you guys know. Leave your suggestions down below if you haven't already subscribed for more. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.